Hey guys, as you know, it's the season of graduations. I have a sister that just graduated. She did an amazing and hilariously funny graduation speech. So I wanted to share that with all of you guys, throw it up on YouTube, and share it with some of our family that wasn't able to make it there as well. is isn't one of my normal videos, but hope you guys enjoy. Thank you for being here today. Friends, family, parents who say they love their kids, <laughs> parents who actually love their kids. <laughs> I don't know half of you half as well as I should like. And I like less than half of you half as well as you deserve. <laughs> I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. I don't want to be up here. I want to be in the back or in the corner over there, nudging the guy next to me and making a rude comment about how ridiculous this whole thing is. In fact, my whole goal in life is to make fun of pretentious, high-minded, self-congratulatory events like this one. That is why I'm here. <laughs> I feel like people take graduations much too seriously. Everyone marching solemnly down the aisle to the sound of a grating funeral dirge, dressed like senators from Krypton. <laughs> Most graduations are kind of boring, with the only bright side being that we get to play dress up. Now, I could come up here and bore you with a long graduation speech, but I've decided to do something a little different. Instead, I will be reading to you from a piece of classic literature written by one of the greatest authors of all time. Theodore Geiser, or for those of you who weren't homeschooled, Dr. Seuss. <laughs> Here is all the places you will go. Congratulations. Today is your day. You're off to great places. You're off and away. You have brains in your head. You have feet in your shoes. You can steer yourself in a direction you choose. You're on your own, and you know what you know. And you are the guy who decide where to go. Hey, there's not another page there. <laughs> <laughs> you'll look up and down streets. Look them over with care. About some you'll say, I don't choose to go there. With your head full of brains and your shoes full of feet, you're too smart to go down any not so good street. And you may not find any you'll want to go down. In that case, of course, you'll head straight out of town. It's opener there, in the wide open air. Out there, things can happen, and frequently do, to people as brainy and footsie as you. And when things start to happen, don't worry, don't stoop. Just go right along. You'll start happening too. Oh, the places you will go. You'll be on your way up. You'll be seeing great sights. You'll join the high flyers. You'll soar to high heights. You won't lag behind because you'll have the speed. You'll pass the whole gang and you'll soon take the lead. Wherever you fly, you'll be the best of the best. Wherever you go, you will top all the rest. Except when you don't. Because sometimes you won't. I'm sorry to say so, but sadly it's true. That bang-ups and hang-ups can happen to you. You can get all hung up in a prickly perch. And your gang will fly on. You'll be left in the lurch. You'll come down from the lurch with an unpleasant bump. And the chances are then that you'll be in a slump. And when you're in a slump, you're not in for much fun. Unslumping yourself is not easily done. You'll come to a place where the streets are not marked. Some windows are lighted, but mostly they're dark. A place where you can sprain both your elbow and chin. Do you dare to stay out? Do you dare to go in? How much can you lose? How much can you win? And if you go in, should you turn left or right? Or right in three quarters? Or maybe not quite? Or go around back and sneak in from behind? Simple it's not, I'm afraid we'll find. For a mind maker upper to make up his mind. You can get so confused that you'll start into race, then long little roads at a breakneck pace, and grind on for miles across weirdest wild space, headed, I fear, towards the most useless place the waiting place. For people just waiting, waiting for a train to go, or a bus to come, or a plane to go, or the mail to come, or the rain to go, or the phone to ring, or the snow to snow, or waiting around for a yes or a no, or waiting for their hair to grow. Everyone is just waiting, waiting for the fish to bite, or waiting for wind to fly a kite, or waiting around for a Friday night, or waiting perhaps for their Uncle Jake, or a pot to boil, or better break, or a string of pearls, or a pair of pants, 
or wig with curls, or another chance. Everyone is just waiting. No, that is not for you. Somehow you'll escape all that waiting and staying. You'll find the bright places where boom bands are playing. With banner flip-flapping, once more you'll ride high, ready for anything under the sky. Ready because you're that kind of guy. Oh, the places you'll go. There's fun to be done. There are points to be scored, and there are games to be won. And the magical things you can do with that ball will make you the winningest winner of all. Fame. You'll be famous, as famous as can be, with the whole wide world watching you on TV. Except when they don't, because sometimes they won't. I'm afraid that sometimes you'll play lonely games too. Games you can't win because you'll play against you. All alone. Whether you like it or not, alone is something that you'll be quite a lot. And when you're alone, there's a very good chance you'll meet things that scare you right out of your pants. There are some down the road between hither and yon that can scare you so much you won't want to go on. But on you will go, though the weather be foul. On you will go, though your enemies prowl. On you will go, though the hacking cracks howl. Upward up many a frightening creek, though your arms may get sore and your sneakers may leak. On and on you will hike, and I know you'll hike far, and face up to your problems, whatever they are. You'll get mixed up, of course, as you already know. You'll get mixed up with many strange birds as you go. So be sure when you step, step with great care and great tact. And remember that life's a great balancing act. Just never forget to be dexterous and deft, and never mix up your right foot with your left. And will you succeed? Yes, you will indeed. 98 and 3 quarters percent guarantee. Kid, you'll move mountains. So be your name Bixbaum or Brixby or Bray, or Mordecai Allen, Van Allen O'Shea. You're off to great places. Today is your day. Your mountain is waiting. So get on your way. brief word of wisdom to my fellow graduates. Live long and prosper, <laughs> and may the force be with you. Thank you.